My name is Jacques Hebert. I work as communications director with Audubon Louisiana. What my job is is to just get the message out far and wide that you know, Louisiana is facing a really dire coastal crisis. We're losing a football field of land every 100 minutes. We've lost 2,000 square miles of land since the 1930s. I was born and raised 30 miles south of New Orleans in Plaquemines Parish. My family's been in Plaquemines Parish since the 1700s. They spoke French and they lived there and I lived there for a lot of my life until Hurricane Katrina in 2005. You know, it was really devastating seeing Katrina happen to my hometown and also so many people across Louisiana and Mississippi. And after college, I, I went and worked um, actually for Google in the Bay Area. I really came to understand how severe Louisiana's land loss crisis was. And I saw what it did to my own family and to my own community, and I couldn't stay away anymore. For the past three years, I've been working on this issue and trying to save as much of Louisiana and its coast as we can the issue of land loss. And it's due to a number of factors. You know, there's the levying of the Mississippi River that cut off our sediment supply to our wetlands. There is just the natural sinking of the land that comes with living on a delta. There's saltwater intrusion through canals and of course storms and hurricanes that come through our area frequently and with greater intensity. Our wetlands are our first line of defense in many ways. Our levees are one of the last lines of defense. Over the last decade, the state of Louisiana has been really aggressive in implementing a suite of projects, everything from restoring its barrier islands, creating marsh where it's needed, as well as advancing large-scale projects like sediment diversions. This is an example of what could be done. Um, what the state is proposing is actually two much larger sediment diversions further downriver um, to help bring sediment from the river um, and push it out into the basins. There is a lot of hope and one of the things that gets me up every morning is because I've seen that hope firsthand.